Hello everyone and welcome in PLAS Your Subtech Business. We provide a Frisco training, consulting and maintenance of the Frisco ECM. In this tutorial, today I will share with you the lesson number six in our third model, in our Frisco and user section. In this lesson, we'll cover some topics. The first topic will be about tags and categories of content. Second will be about a favoriting content. Let's see what that means, tagging and categorizing a content. Tagging and categorizing a similar or related content make it is easy to find the content again. And then it's available across all your Frisco sites and can be reused by the all users. Categorize or tag are located in the Explorer panel. Tagging content. By clicking either next to the content in the document library or in the Explorer panel, all the content with that tag is displayed in the document library. Steps to tag your content. Before going to see the steps, I will give you a resume about tagging and categorizing. So as I said, tagging by tagging our content or category categorizing our content, we can easily find our file or folder. So by giving, let's see how we can do that, the steps. First, in the library, find the content you want to tag. Hover your cursor over the tag to display the tag icon and click on it. Create and manage the tags. Create a new tag if you want to create, if you want to manage the tags. So there is, there is three types of that. So if you want to create a new tag, type the tag name and click enter. Otherwise, you can edit an existing tag or remove a tag on clicking on X icon. And finally, click on save. Before to see how we can categorize our content, let, let's practice our tagging. So we are in our Frisco, our Frisco exactly in our site, in our Frisco training. Now, let's choose which content we want to tag it. Either folder or file. So I will click inside the folder. And for example, I will choose um, file one or this one. Okay, it's as we want. So for example, if I want to change this file, or I, if I want to tag, sorry, this file, as I explained uh, in my PPT, the steps is going. Uh, I need to see here in, the, in the, uh, the name of my file, you can find the node tags. So you click on the icon uh, close to the node tags, okay, this pencil, this pen, sorry. So you click there, and here you will enter your name tag for example i will give um this is i will give a name my 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 tags two why i give my tags two because i and after that i will explain you and after that, when I write this uh, name for my tag, I will click on save. 
So now my file is tagged. How we can know that? Go, go on the right, oh sorry, on the left of your page, and you can find this this in our explorer panel. We call this explorer panel. So you go there and you find the tags. In there that you will file all the tags name that you gave. So before I give my file tag for this file cover letter C, it's assigned here. Okay. So for my second file, I give uh, this uh, this tag called my tag two, and they assign it here as well. What does mean one 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 means only one file is tagged by this name, and only one file is tagged using this name. Okay, so what I will do, I will click on my tag two and I will see what happened. We are inside the tags, okay? You see document and folders tagged with my tags two. And what, what I see, I see the documents is here that I tagged using my tag two. It's same for my file tag. See, my cover letter is as well here, okay? So we seen how to tag our file or folder or our content in generally. So let's see now how to categorize our content. Okay, now let's go. Categorizing a content is to categorize files and folder to group simulate content. Steps to categorize your contents as follow. Hover over the content you want to categorize. Click Edit Properties. Then click on the Categorizes Select option. Click Plus next to each category you want to add. You can categorize files using parent categories and their subcategories. Click OK. So let's go to see how we can categorize our content before moving to how make our content favorite. So I will return to my document library and exactly on my folders. So today or this time, this time I will make a categorize on the folder, not file, okay? We tried with file, we tag a file. So now I want to categorize a folder as a content. So I will choose, for example, this one, my, per, my template folder, and I want to categorize it. Okay, no tags for this folder because I didn't. Uh, but I want to do a categorizing for, for this folder. Uh, let's go before to this first folder and let's see. No categories for this folder. But here, I, uh, we can't see this, this assign. We can't see this, uh, um, this, um, this, um, this thing, this. This uh, categories, no categories, this picture or this assignment, we can't we can't see it here under no tags. Why? Let's see. Uh, let's know why we can't see what is not appeared. Yes, this is the, the word that I was trying to uh, find. Um, it's not appearing. Why? Because for for making uh, categories to appear under your contents, you need to add or to customize something in, in your folder, okay? So what is think for making, if, if, we will, if we will follow, let's see follow, let me go step by step, okay? So hover over the content you want to categorize after edit the properties, after categories, after plus, okay? Remember these steps, okay? let's see if if i will go to edit properties of my folder i will click on it so what i can see where is categories button the button is not here 
tags button is here. So uh, this is the second way how we can tag our, our content. You can click here. And for example, like as you see, I created this uh, tag name, my tag two. I can click on plus and after OK. OK, this is the second, second way to, to tag your content. Just I will show you, okay, because uh, maybe one day you will need it or you will use it. So I will remove this and I will click on cancel. Okay, so what is what is the second? There should be a second button for categorize. I can't see. So how can I categorize my folder or my content? Okay, just don't worry. What you should do, you should add an aspect. This called aspect. We will see this word uh, and we will cover this topic in our next lessons. Uh, so don't worry about that. Just keep in mind that you need to add a new aspect to your folder. How can I add this aspect? I will click on move more, sorry. And I will go here on manage aspects. Click there. And I can see many aspects here, many options, many aspects that I can add it using this plus button, add to this column. So by adding to this column and I'm clicking on applying changes, so um, my aspect will be added. It depends which aspect you want to add. For my, my, um, my case, classifiable, this one, classifiable, aspects is for my categories if i want to categorize my content i need to add this aspect to my folder so i added i added so i click now on apply changes let's see now it's working or not yeah we can see no categories here so it's displaying good so let's follow now our steps click on edit properties i will click wow now i can see the second button in the tags it's for categories i will click on it and a categories it's um it's um i contains categories contains some some uh, subfolders like classification of your documents which which means which category you want to give to your content do you want your content will be inside this folder uh, classification document or in language or region or tags which one it depends about you if you want if you want to put it here inside this uh, this folder it's only for a document classification of documents or you want to classify or categorize, uh, or you want to categorize uh, your um, your the, your content depends on language, French, English, Arabic, uh, uh, German. It depends about you or about region. Region is about uh, it geographical uh, geographical region. For example. Um, North of America, Africa, America, um, Australia. Uh, it depends about region. So it depends on your content, the type of your content. Okay? It's a geographical content, so you can put it inside the region. If uh, it's a software, software um, content, so we put it here on the first one. In language, it's about about language content, so we put it here. It's, it's about your content. So I will not speak more about that. I just, for example, I want to, it's software. It's a software content, so I will put it here, classification documents. So I will click OK. And after that, I see categorizes, categories, yeah. Classification of documents. Tags mm -hmm, and categories, good. So save, you click on save. And what I can see now, good. 
the category uh, the, the category of my uh, of my folder is classification is inside the classification document okay good so where i can find this or verify this on this explorer panel i will click on categories i click on this folder classification of documents and what i can see i see my folder inside good so we learn how to tag our for our content and we learn how to categorize our content. Good. Good. So we um, we covered topic. So the last topic now uh, is about favoriting a content okay so how we can we can favorite our content uh, let's see how we can make how we can make our content as a favorite this adds the file or folder to the my my favorites i will repeat this adds the file or folder to the my favorites my favorite view the explorer panel where you can easily find it steps to favorite your content are in the library find the document you want to favorite click on favorite icon click the favorite icon again if you want to move, move the content from your list of favorites okay so it's very easy to to favorite your content don't worry about that we need just to follow the steps let's follow the steps i will return here on the library i will click on documents and for example i want to make a folder i want to favorite this folder one so where i will go see this is favorites icon i will click here add a folder to favorites i will click there and it's favorite now this star it's uh it's yellow star means it's favorites okay i will click on the star if i want to remove a folder from favorites okay so uh, and if i want to to find this this folder inside the favorites folders or documents i will go to documents in the export panel and i will click on my favorites i will click there and you see i can see the folder that i tag it as a favorite folder good it's the same if you remember we did the same for um for sites we favorite the sites as well so now we we favorite our contents as well good so so what um what we did today we see we saw how we saw how to uh, to tag our content after that how to categorize our content and finally we see how to favorite our content so thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you in the next tutorial uh, so for more lessons please visit plusyoursoftech.com. The URL is given below in the description. Thank you and see you.